What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I just want to say thank you. So last week this channel has passed 200,000 subscribers and I can't begin to explain how excited I am about that, how unbelievable that, just that number sounds to me. So uh, thank you guys for, for helping uh, helping me achieve this, thank you for, uh, for, for supporting this channel over the years, so uh, it's, it's just an unbelievable mi milestone, so I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys. And for this video I wanted to do something a little bit different, I didn't want to do just a regular tutorial and I also didn't want to have just a simple video where I say thank you. So I want to give you something a bit more special, so I decided to film my whole process in how I make these YouTube tutorials. So that's what this video is going to be all about, just an overview of my process or a tutorial on how I make my tutorials. So I thought that would be exciting for uh, for this week's video. Uh, so. Uh, and one more thing before I get into that video, I would just like to say that uh, until the end of the year I'm going to be taking some time off and the first year of January uh, I, I'm also going to be taking some time off, but then uh, starting from uh, the beginning of the second year of January I'm coming uh, full blast and uh, I'm going to be, uh, well, coming into the new year stronger than ever and I have a lot of new and exciting things for you and I can't wait uh, for that to start. But for now, let's just go over on how I make my tutorials. So let's get into that. Is this working? Hey guys and welcome where the magic happens and that is my home office setup. So it's just these a simple like the cheapest IKEA standing desk that they had and here I have my computer setup. Now if you want to learn more about my computer setup I already have a video on that so I will be linking it in the description of the video so you can check it out if that's something you're interested in. Now let's get straight into the tutorial that I'm creating now and uh, the topic for this tutorial is going to be a wall assembly. Now I was just thinking about how can I make a sensational thumbnail or a sensational title for this video so maybe it will be something like everything you need to know about walls in Revit or something like that. Usually I try to grab your attention with the uh, with the title and the thumbnail so this is probably what I'm going to be going for with this tutorial. Uh, now for the tutorial ideas I, I tend to get them a few different ways. First one is I see maybe an interest in building and I think well how can I model that in Revit and that turns into a, an, an interesting tutorial topic. Also when I'm just working in Revit on some project or something like that I come across a problem and then I find, find a solution and then I share that with you guys or I just try to think about what would I search if I was learning Revit and in this case uh, that's going to be a topic of walls. So I decided to do a, 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 a little tutorial on everything you need to know about wall assembly or wall structure for Revit walls and then I took and wrote everything down in this magic yellow book where all of my tutorials and courses come together. So I just wrote a few notes over here. So I'm just going to read it to you what I'm starting off with. So I just type in uh, or type in, <laughs> write down uh, exactly what I want to talk about. So in this case I want to start off with explaining the uh, system of creating layers for walls and then uh, most importantly explaining the functions of walls as I think that's something that you don't hear about all that often, usually just people tell you, okay this is how you put walls together, they don't talk about the function of each layer. And most importantly there, uh, there are these finish one and finish two layers and I just want to uh, point out uh, what is each for, so I wrote that down. Uh, also uh, I want to uh, put a little accent on the membrane layer and explain that one and then I'm just going to move over to explaining how wrapping uh, works, so how do you wrap wall layers around the structural core, also explaining what is the core boundary uh, with those layers and then finally I'm just going to be talking about uh, stacking walls and adding some sweeps and reveals to those uh, walls just uh, by type. So that's what this tutorial is going to be all about. So I just write that down, now this is a simple uh, I guess you can call it a simple tutorial. So I just have a few notes, like five or six, so I know what I'm working with. So then I close my little book and then I move on to Revit. Now what I tend to do is I tend to try everything out uh, first uh, and then just to make sure that I know what I'm going to be doing for the tutorial 
and then once I go through that then I just swing my mic around set everything up and then it's time for recording and also of course in some cases I have to use some uh, sample projects or something that that's going to help me explain the topic a bit better so I find which project that I already have will work best in that case or alternatively I would create a new project and then show you on uh, on that particular project now in this case we're talking about walls so we don't really have to have a project set up so I'm probably going to be just starting from scratch and then just building upon that okay so now let's get to the computer setup so now it's time to film the tutorial and I usually work in that uh, in that order I first film the tutorial and then I go ahead and film the intro just because I tend to make some changes during the process of filming the tutorial so uh, if I uh, if I create the intro first then maybe I would have to come back and change it so I just adopted the practice of filming the tutorial first on my computer so just screen record the tutorial and then the, do the intro where I can show my face on camera camera afterwards. Now as far as the setup here I tend to do all of my work uh, here on my right uh, on my right uh, monitor and then on my left monitor I have the folder where uh, all of the video files are recorded at over here so just I, I, I want to make sure that it's recording and also all of the Revit files go into this folder as well and then here I have my trusty OBS uh, screen recorder so that's open broadcasting software uh, I, I think it's the it's the best one well it's free so that's why I use it anyways so uh, I keep that on this side of the screen so I don't have to open it up and close it down and one important thing that I always do before uh, opening up Revit and all of that is just right click here on the screen and then go into display settings and then set the uh, set uh, the, the the scale or the size uh, to uh, 125 percent now the reason i do that as you can see all of the icons become a bit larger and the reason that i do this uh, is so all of the icons would be larger so if you're viewing it in like the small youtube format uh, it's still going to be pretty visible so that's what i choose to do and then i just open up revit and now it's time to record and uh, by the way, if you're interested in the microphone that I'm using, it's uh, just the uh, AliExpress <laughs> microphone that I found. Uh, it was the coolest one that I could find with the whole setup with this, whatever this does. And it has this little boom where I can attach it to my desk and just spin it around when I'm not using it. And then when I want to use it, I just spin it over here. So it, it looks really cool. I, I, mean, I don't know much information about it. I will try to find it and then link it in the description. If I can't find it, I'm, I'm sorry. So anyways, now well, I just have to hit start recording and then we're going to start recording the tutorial. So So we're going to be starting this project off from scratch. So as you can see here, I am in the Revit start page. Now I'm going to go here to models, go to new, and then let's go ahead here. And hey guys, I hope you can see me right because I'm filming this on my phone, but I'm just trying to show you the setup that I do for filming the intros for my videos. So if I just flip my phone around here, as you can see uh, this, if I can only focus, yeah. So this is my computer setup. I uh, use my lamp. So this is the IKEA a lamp that they have. It's really cool. I just use it as a desk lamp. It has this a folding feature but anyways I, uh, I like to use that just to light myself up and uh, as you can see it has this rotatable top so what I tend to do is if you just take a look at the window there I try to rotate it so it just doesn't uh, uh, shine any light on that window so I have kind of a darker background and then uh, only my face is lighted up well, that sounds kind of narcissistic. Anyways, here's my microphone and I just hook up my microphone to my camera and I'm using a, a Canon a EOS 70D, if I can only focus on that. There we go. So that's what I'm using and it has that little cool flip screen so I can just flip it around and now you can see me filming. So there we go. Now I'm just going to turn that on and then here just tell you all about uh, this tutorial that I'm filming. What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about wall assemblies in Revit. 
So I thought about making a, a cool little video where I'm going to be talking about... And finally, you can see here uh, on my computer, I'm editing this video that I have created. So here in the project panel, you can see all of the elements that have loaded in. So here is where I add all of my videos. Uh, as you can see, this in this case, I had to film the, the, the screen. So the screencast was done in four parts. And then I have just one part for that intro. So that's this over here. Also, I found a bunch of images online that I want to use just as reference, just to uh, showcase what I'm trying to achieve. So that's, uh, that's why I loaded those in. And also, always over here, I have some uh, just some advertising for my patreon page so I can recommend to you the viewers to well join my patreon and get access to all of those advanced courses and all of my project files anyways uh, then here in the sequence panel I put the whole video together so if I zoom in over here you can see uh, so all of the videos start from this line and then upward. So uh, here, uh, this uh, blue line, uh, this one over here, this is this video where I just uh, talk to the camera. And when I scroll over this, I always look weird. And here are these little pink spots. Uh, those are the images that they load in. So just to show you what we're, what we're going to be creating here, as you can see all of those images. So I talk about all of that. And then of course here, I recommend you like, share and subscribe. And also I ask you to join my Patreon probably. And then I move into the video. So for that, I use the push effect. As you can see over here, that is that effect. And then when we slide over, this is what we get. And then here uh, we start going with the video and yeah, that's pretty much it. So then we have all of the four parts of the video. I, I try to make it as just one take, but usually I mess up somewhere along the way. So I split it in four parts, then try again and then so on and so forth. And in the end, we have a whole video that's ready to get well uploaded to YouTube. And that's it. So that's the process. That's how I've made all of my tutorials. I've got over 500 tutorials on my channel so far and I'm planning on making many, many more way past the 1000 mark. So again, I just want to say thank you for the 200,000 subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. Without you, none of this would be possible. And as much as I teach uh, Revit here online, uh, the audience helps me learn Revit myself just because the motivation to uh, explore some topics that I maybe wouldn't explore if I didn't have this platform where I will share all of that information with you. So I've gotten way, way better over the years and I hope that you have gone uh, become, become better at Revit by watching all of my tutorials. Okay, so that concludes this, uh, let's, let's call it the New Year's video or something like that, a uh, special 200,000 subscriber special video. Uh, thank you for watching and then I'll be back at the end of the first year of January. So thank you for all of the support. Happy holidays and happy new year.